holy cow, I woke up today and I was 50. I still think I'm like 28 years old, so um, so my body is telling me otherwise. But I, my brain, I think I'm going backwards, and I still think I'm embracing being a millennial. I love millennials. I think am I the only like Gen Xer who loves millennials? Um, anyway, we were talking about like what are we going to be doing today to celebrate in a kind of a big way? And I've had a lot of friends that I've I've went on trips with friends to celebrate their 50th. I've went to lots of restaurants and had like big affairs and events, and they've been absolutely wonderful. And I thought about sharing the day with friends and family. And what I realized that I'd really love to do is to be in a place, like in a, maybe a new place. We, we love to travel, we love to do things inexpensively. So our French house sit was a result of, I wanna do something amazing for my birthday. And like just kind of like live in chill in France in the summertime with all the amazing summertime bounty of their foods seem like that might be my idea of a dream. And so let's see what I get up to today. I uh, want to try to live a birthday that lines up with my values. So it doesn't make sense for me to spend a lot of money. That's not where my values are. So I've talked on many podcasts and things and probably this video series that dining out and spending a lot of money on food isn't really, a, we used to do it, we loved it, we got a lot of enjoyment out of it, we traveled and did it. Um, so I don't wanna knock anybody who's into that. We also enjoyed it, but I don't enjoy it so much anymore. So spending a lot of money on dining now doesn't make a lot of sense because I'm really just as happy with something simple at home. Um, uh, something that's delicious, but so it has, delicious is still key, but uh, but it doesn't have to be out. Um, anyway, so I want to see kind of we, we don't really have any plans yet, and so let's see what happens today and where we end up. But I want to be careful that I, I keep it and I make it a, a wonderful celebration of 50 years, but that it's in line with my values. So let's see what that looks like. This is our first time visiting the patisserie since our house sit, and I absolutely love a good croissant. Who doesn't? So today I wanted to get an almond croissant, which is my favorite thing. The bakery that we wanted to go to was sold out of all breakfast pastries at 11 a.m. We got a late start, and so we're at a different bakery. We got a uh, two different pastries, which I'm going to show a picture of, but one of them is a uh, an almond croissant, which we're going to share when we get back home. So this is the start of our day. Birthday day. So we were taking Georgie on her morning walk through town like we do every day, and we bumped into our friend Louise, which was so lovely. She came back with us, and we got to the house, and she had left me some little happy birthday notes. Our one friend here, isn't that the nicest thing? We're so happy we met Louise. You. Happy birthday, dear Amy. Happy birthday to you. Let's see, I'm wishing something good. This is my birthday cake, birthday croissant. Oui. So we ended up having lunch at home, which was quite delicious. We had breakfast from the patisserie. We just bought two croissants and enjoyed those at home. And so we came over to Basel, Switzerland for dinner. We haven't ventured that far. And lo and behold, Switzerland is one mile from our doorstep. We haven't ventured in the direction of Switzerland past like 0.6 miles is where Lidl is. So just past Lidl is Switzerland. Now here's the super cool thing about that. On the French side, I mean, the Lidl is the grocery store. It is 0.4 miles, uh, 0.5 miles from Switzerland. Lidl is 100% in French. They take Euro, um, the languages in French, the tags and uh, all the pricing and everything is done with the French language. As soon as you get on the other side of Switzerland, which is like a one second border with nobody there, everything is in German. So we hear people speaking German instantly. The stores all have where patisserie is in uh, the France side, Kondroitai or something is on the German side. It is kind of cool that within like this one instant, it, there's no, like it is distinct countries and that's pretty wild. But anyway, uh, so here we decided to come. I was really kind of lame about making plans. I was already having such a nice day, so I didn't feel compelled to make big plans. So we came to something that I have shown so many times in the videos, a food hall, and this is a good one. It's not that crowded, it was, but we wanted it, we like it crowded, so we wanted it to be buzzing. It's kind of quiet, um, but it's like 40 different food purveyors from countries all over the world, and we went with a Caribbean option to share. So we have a Caribbean jerk chicken and a curry, some uh, fresh uh, 
carrot with ginger and because it was my birthday he gave us an extra piece of chicken and an extra iced tea which is quite delicious so let's start with this and we're gonna keep uh, going until we aren't hungry anymore cheers So we haven't got Swiss francs yet, and we didn't see an ATM here, and many of these establishments are cash only. We don't have any cash. We have credit cards in Euro, which isn't gonna help at a Swiss franc place. So we, I had read reviews and people raved about the Caribbean stand. So I'm like, we like all food, so great, Caribbean. And so we're passing the Caribbean food. He had a sample of jerk chicken, which was delicious. I asked if he took credit cards. He has a British accent because he's lived in the Caribbean in all the British islands. And so yes, he took the credit card and I said, it's my 50th birthday. So please give some extra love, like put extra love into my birthday dinner. It's my birthday dinner. So he said, I'll give you an extra piece of chicken and I'll give you an extra iced tea on the house. And then he comes over, he asks if we drink, and he said he went to the wine shop and got us some kava. He said, you only turn 50 once and it's a special thing. So here's to the lovely friend at Caribbean House. Cheers. For my birthday dessert, we came, what is this, Lebanese? What, what nationality? Yeah, this is Lebanese. We came for Lebanese, Lebanese sweets. sweets. Right. This is Rudy. Rudy has lived yes. for a brief time. He visited in Colorado. He has yep. a big tattoo of the American flag yep. on his I, right I arm. I can't take my shirt he off. He can't take his shirt off. Am I going to be on YouTube? Oh my God. <laughs> yes. And, here's, and I asked him to pick out his favorite thing. So we have four yep. treats to bring home, and I have no doubt that we will love them. What a great birthday. Just to start, we spent, I think, $30 today, not including our groceries for the weekend. Just a heads up, tomorrow is Bastille Day, which means everything in France is closed. Sunday is Sunday, which means everything is closed. So we had to stock up four days uh, today. So We're preparing not counting for the today. apocalypse. That's right. So we spent about $33 uh, US dollars on my entire birthday celebration today with our two uh, 20 euro croissant in the morning two of those and our uh, dinner was like 21 Swiss francs which I think is about the same as a US dollar and eight or nine dollars for the pastries that we got but what a great great day amazing day yeah and here's the cool thing is that we got to go to another country so we have never been in Switzerland we've been in the Zurich airport we dropped off the family in the morning at five in the morning didn't even get out of the car really help them with their luggage but other than that no. So here is the so that food hall was amazing. And we asked Nils at the Caribbean place, like, hey, I thought this place was like hopping. Like, when is it busy? He said it's very quiet for six weeks during summer holidays. The kids are off from school. So things, people are off on, on holidays. Isn't that kind of wild that you would have like the whole summertime be like that because you have a lot of vacation? I'm like, wouldn't that be a great thing to bring home to America? Anyway, um, yeah, we're going home to eat our fresh Lebanese pastries. So we've only been here for a, a couple hours tonight and so we have a question. So um, if we're, we're here for a few hours, we've been to the Zurich airport, so we're not sure if we can check this off of our list of we've been to Switzerland or not. So just yeah. curious what your thoughts are. So it's not, with, not, don't judge ours on your list. So everyone that we know has like a visiting the US states, visiting different countries, like what counts? Does an overnight count? We are gonna have an overnight on our last day um, in Zurich at the airport. Um, so does an overnight count? Does seeing the entire country count? Does touching your toe off the airport count? Like what would so what you counts for count? You? It? Yeah, so we came, we had dinner, we parked, we walked around behind us is Switzerland the people by the way did you see all the people waving like the Swiss hospitality at its very, finest very yeah so we are thrilled we are definitely gonna go back to that market that is one of the best we've ever been to so we're gonna say we have been here thanks for watching thanks good night